next up, nothing special, just a notebook that I plan on using to record my blog stuff that I want to write and hopefully videos. That's, I'm sorry. I know I keep saying that. Got a pair of like joggers or something and they're just in this tribal print. Um, I like them. They're comfortable. Too cold to wear them outside fully, but I, if you can tell I've worn them because they're a little faded. But I like them. I got them in the sale at for about eight to ten dollars at Target. Then I picked up a thermal that looks like this, and it has foxes on it. Look at that, right? It's awesome. I just got this uh, not too long ago, like last week. Um, this is by Mossimo, so are the pants. I do not wear them together. <laughs> but if I did so, it's my business. Uh, no, this is was on sale for like seven fifty at Target. And my size is the extra large. It's a little over a little oversized and I like that. And I wear it with this hat sometimes. I have a fluffy McFlufferson of a sweater. Anything that I show in here, unless I tell you I have not worn it, you can check out on my Instagram or my blog, which will always be down below, or on my profile page, a link. This is a fluffy sweater, cardigan situation. Has pockets. I love it. This is from H&M. The size is a large. If you don't like super oversized things, this is kind of heavy. It kind of hangs on me. I would have gotten a medium if I would have known, but I like how big it is. But if you don't like that super oversized look, I would suggest sizing down your normal size. So if you're small, get the extra small. Trust me. You'll thank me. I should have started with makeup because, you know, what's the whole reason I'm here? The black and gray one. It's a v-neck, which you probably can't tell. And it's quite long. Which I have not worn this. It's just a super long, oversized sweater. Um, I got this in a sale at Target like a month or so ago. I got this one, which is from the H&M Plus range, which I originally got the extra large, which was a mistake. And even the large here, it's kind of too big. Um, it has little sleeves here with the same little pattern. This reminds me of country clubs. <laughs> like I'm gonna play tennis and when I was going to country clubs, I didn't wear stuff like that. I have not worn this yet either. I plan on it, I just, I'm not entirely sure how I want to style it yet. And it's getting warm soon, so I better figure that out. I picked up um, a tank and that one was $35 from H&M as well. Sorry, why am I doing that? This I got from Target, and it's like super soft, like vintage feeling. Love it. Um, this I also got from Target. It was $5 in the sale. It's kind of long. Uh, I do I really love this. I've worn it. I have this Metallica shirt, which also is cut off sleeves, which I can transition both to the summer. You know, I do wear them now, and that's okay. I rarely wear sleeves because I'm all about layering so yeah and this was 17 or 18 bucks this is a size large it's oversized it's long it looks vintage -y. it feels a little vintage not as soft as my rock oh, this which I also have not worn this is very sheer very nice very oversized it's kind of a high low but not really I'd say it's kind of scalp not scalloped but it's kind of curved at the bottom it is a little longer in the back, but not that much to call it a high-low. And it has like a slit. Uh, and this was on sale at Target as well for like $8. So move on to makeup because that's why I'm really here. <laughs> I got a setting, not a setting spray, it's just a facial spray. And it's the Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. It smells really nice. This is the four ounce. I think I wrote about this on my blog. Pretty sure. Or it's in one of my blog posts. You can check it out. <laughs> it's in one of something. I know I did something about this, I think. So, yeah, excuse my nails. They're really bad. This is $7 from Ulta. They 
don't sell the large size there. You have to order the, I think it's a 12 ounce or something. And that's like $14. So, which is not bad because it's worth every penny. My skin looks great. It feels great. It's hydrated. Love. I have a mattifying powder and this is by Essence. All about matte. It's $3. It's worth every penny. I've had it for months and I have not hit pan yet. It is Black Radiance. This is actually a pressed powder foundation in the shade Rich Mahogany. And I use this to contour. It's Maybelline Master Conceal in Medium, which I love, by the way. I didn't think I'd like this. This is so nice. I'm wearing it now. I know it like crap. Today was a bad makeup day. And, uh,. I don't remember how much this was. I picked up the NYX Micro Brow. I have a backup in it. My shade is Ash Brown or Auburn. Ash Brown. And it's really thin. I can't even show it to you on camera. And it comes with a spoolie on the end. Yeah. Uh, I did do a post on my blog about this. So head on over there and check that out. I love it. I have two brushes. These are like my holy grail. I love these. I got this one in a beauty box. It's by Tease with three E's. And it's their flat stiff brush. And I use it to blend. I don't know if you can see that. The lighting's bad. Uh, I'm going to do a blog post on my favorite brushes. But this is one of them. And this one is the E01 brush from Flower Cosmetics. And this will also be in there. I love it. I don't know, I forgot how much this was. I think this is originally like 12 or more dollars. And this one was like I have a crap load of lip liners. Not a crap load, but a load of them. NYX is mauve. Oh my god, my nails. <laughs> Which is like a, a repurchase. You probably cannot even see the color, I'm sorry. Uh, NYX. A uh, nude truffle was just a brown. The mauve is my lips, but better kind of shade. Um, Nick Sand Beige, which is just a pinky brown. And I'll list the prices down below or something. Uh, this is Rimmel's. Um, what is this? I've been wearing this too. Obsession. I used to have. I used to wear this all the time. It's like a brownie red it goes really nice with the product I'm going to show you next this is Flowers Cosmetics uh, red lip liner and cherry red it's a retractable which I like this is the matte uh, Rimmel show off lip velvets or a matte it, wherever you're from they're called apocalypse this shade is in meteoric matte and it's like a I don't know like a berry color standard berry situation this color i mean this ugh, light is terrible so it looks like that and i like how you can scoop in some product these are okay i have a blog post about this i believe because i think it was my lipstick of the month one month and my next one is milani's their new matte one and it's in matte confident i don't know if you're supposed to say matte it's in confident and it's a nice blue based red nothing it's, it's a classic red honestly a nice blue like a pretty red nothing stands out about it but in the package like when I first bought when I first looked I was like I have to have this it's per perfect then I put it on I was like underwhelmed like oh yeah looks like a typical drugstore red to me I wasn't impressed or unimpressed this is Vampira by Kat Von D has been sold out forever I bought it a long time ago, like a month or so ago, not a long time, but I've been collecting these and I love it. It's so dark. It's like a blackened burgundy when you put it on. It holds true to the name. And I was going to get a backup of it because I've seen it's been sold out, so I didn't. And it goes really good with Obsession by Rimmel. I don't know if you can see that, but they're pretty much identical. So this is a bit lighter. Then Too Faced came out with some more of their melted lip liquid lipsticks. And I purchased a uh, melted chihuahua. And that's what I'm wearing now. Mm. So yeah, awesome. 
uh, I love it. It's it's not, it, like it's on my skin tone. It's not as dark as it looks in the package, but I'll swatch it for you on my hand. It looks darker on my hand than it does, you know, on my actual mouth heart lip. Oh. Right? I like it so far. It's okay. I wanted an all matte palette with a whole bunch of colors I was going to use. It was between this and um, Too Faced, Semi Sweet, and I didn't think I was going to use any of that. Plus, it was huge. So I decided to get this, and I will be posting this up on my blog soon with thoughts and the reason I got it is because I just feel like I use all of these these six here and then these two and maybe the black but probably not but I felt like I'd use all of these here if you're not watching I hope you enjoyed it I'm sorry that I have not come out with the tutorial <sighs> things just aren't working with me right now so I hope to be back in the game soon and I will see you guys later. Check out my blog and Instagram for more content. I've been updating my blog a lot more. So, yeah. Thank you again. See you guys.